All right, you guys, it's Mary, and it's day 24, and I'm full of a little bit of crafty sadness because it is our last door to open, and it does make me sad. It's been fun. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I have. Let's, 24, here it is. All right, this one is, where, oh, it's on the side, okay, there we go. This is it, the last time I have to hide. Let's see what's in here. Ooh. It's a die, and it looks like a whale or something. Oh, it is, look. Look at how cute. A little whale with the little splashes. So cute, so. God, this might be cuter than the turtle, I don't know. All right, so that's it. Sad but true. All right, so goodbye, Spellbinders. All right, now, let's see if Craft's Companion can be beat that. So, all right, like I said the other day, usually 24 was a pad of paper in the back of this for Craft's Companion. This time, it's right here. And it's long. It's longer than the other ones that were border. So I'm hoping it's something we haven't seen before since it's the last one. So see how long it is. So let's see. It's an edgeable die. Uh, looks like roses. So, thank you, Crafter's Companion. All right. Let's bring you down. So we've got, uh, it can go that way, go that way. This is not, it cuts here and here, but not here. So, all right, so we've got that from Crafty's Companion. And then let's check out this whale. Hold on. I have to thank Spellbinders for being very good about their packaging this time. Last year, so many of the dies. Um, all of the different things, a lot of them slid, and the first window I opened up had nothing in it. Um, I finally ended up having to open them up and put them where they belong because it was such a fiasco. Um, so I do appreciate that they listened to the feedback and made sure that everything stayed in place this time. And then, you know, I didn't want to see it right away, but I appreciate that they put the picture of, of what it was on the inside, um, especially for those that were a little bit hard to figure out. So, 
did appreciate that. All right, so here's our bubbles that we'll all cut out at one time. Here's, I would imagine, the bottom of the whale. And then, hmm, let me get that camera out and look at the picture because I'm not quite sure. Still not quite sure what this Oh. It's his other. So when this cuts, this goes on the opposite side. I'll show you so you know what I'm talking about. So when it cuts out, it cuts this, this one out. And then this extra little piece here is this um, fin on the side so this fin will go when it's turned over it'll go on the other side like that like that on that side and then this is got the texture for the bottom so all right mystery solved see it's good that they did the pictures all right so I love I love the ocean I love mammals I love whales I love dolphins so you know, I'm going to have to go with Spellbinders on this one. And this, it is pretty. Let's cut it out. It will be a little bit short here, but let's cut it out. and see it but I'm thinking I'm thinking unless it looks different when you cut it out it kind of looks like most of the floral edibles that Crafters Companion sells. But, let's see, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But yet I'm not. I mean, you tell me, doesn't this look like, I mean, when you look at it, you just know it's Crafter's Companion because there's so many that look pretty similar. So my vote for uh, the last window goes with spellbinders you know they're just they just are very creative in, in what they put in there you know in the advent calendars there there's a little bit of everything you know so I'm gonna have to go with them for this one so you tell me
I don't, I have a bunch of edgeables like this and I honestly don't use a whole bunch of them. Um, but you know, it's preference. Maybe you have no desire to use anything that has to do with the ocean and maybe you'll like that one better. So, I mean, it's definitely, it's definitely different for the 24th in there, but I think they've always had some sort of a edgeable type die um, in their advent calendars. So, all right, so ponder that and then leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you agree or disagree. And then we're gonna take a few days off here with this advent calendar. And I think maybe closer to the new year, I'll do a recap video uh, showing everything that we got. And then um, we'll have a last vote and discussion. So in the meantime, please leave a comment. Please hit the thumbs up and like the video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do that. Um, we're pushing almost 500, which isn't a big lot, but it's big for me. So slowly but surely, we're creeping up there. Um, so your support means everything. Whether you subscribe or not, you know, maybe you just come once a week or whatever to see what's new. Um, you know, everybody's welcome and I appreciate everybody, no matter, you know, whether you subscribe or you just come and visit occasionally. So, so that's it for the advent calendars for this year. I'm sad that they're over. I think I am kind of ready, though. It's been a rough couple of months, personally. And so I think I'm ready for a little down time and things not to be so hectic for a little bit. So, um, yeah. I hope that you have a Merry Christmas or Hanukkah, whatever you celebrate. I wish you well, and I wish you all the happiness, um, and I wish you a happy new year. And um, there'll be a few videos before the new year, um, but this is it for the advent calendars. So thank you so much again. Until the next time, stay safe, stay well. Happy crafting and happy new year. Bye-bye.